Hello and welcome to your mat. My name is Chelsea. Today I will be guiding you through a 60 minute slow flow practice. We're going to work into the full body today and really take our time as we move through each shape and through practice. So join me laying down on our backs today. We'll bring the soles of the feet to touch and the knees out wide, finding our way to Supta Baddha Konasana. If you notice as you arrive in this shape that it's a bit too demanding on the hips, so early on to practice, you're welcome to take the counter pose to the shape and take the feet nice and wide and allow the knees to fall in. The further you take your heels from your groin, the less intense the stretch or the opening. So just bear that in mind. You can place your hands on your body. Otherwise, you can allow them to rest palms facing up on either side of you. And just taking a couple moments to arrive and that may look or feel different for each of us. So letting go of your morning, letting go of your day, whatever it took to get you here. And now that you are here, we may as well fully commit to being here, fully commit to our practice, to being in our bodies. The breath, as we know, is a powerful tool to ground us into the present moment, to anchor us into our bodies, to act as a focal point for the mind to steady and focus on. With that being said, start to lengthen and deepen your breath. We'll pay a little more attention to the out breath as a means of letting go, of dropping a little deeper beneath the skin, of really arriving onto the four corners of our mat and into our bodies. And we'll take 10 rounds of breath. If your hands are on your body, feel the belly rise on the breath in. Feel the belly fall on the breath out. Belly rise on the breath in. Belly falls on the breath out. Rising on the breath in. Falling on the breath out. Rising on the in breath. Falling on the out breath. Continue that rhythm of breath for five more rounds of breath on your own. As we move through the slow flow practice with intention, consciously being in each shape, I invite you to do the same with each breath. Really indulging in each moment we have here together. Indulging in each moment you have here with your body. One more breath in. One more breath out. 
If you're still in Supta Baddha Konasana, you can heel toe your feet to the width of the mat and then arrive in that counter pose as you bring your knees to touch through center. You can pause here for a couple of breaths. Just allow the hips to seal off. You can take a couple of pelvic tilts or rocks forwards and backwards. Really nice. We'll heel to our feet to hip width apart and then ground the hands on either side of the mat. Blocking the sunlight from underneath the lower back. So coming into a posterior pelvic tilt as if you were rounding your hip points up towards the sky. Keep lifting the sitting bones until you roll up into a bridge pose. Now try not worry too much about the heights in the spine. Rather envision trying to get the pubic bone a little higher. So there's almost like a scooping of the pelvis happening. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You'll feel the glutes and the hamstrings turn on. Keep grounding into the big toe mound of the feet. Really nice, breathing in and exhale, slow and controlled, pasting the spine down one vertebra at a time. The sacrum comes down last. Try to keep the hips level and the pelvis neutral. Really nice. We'll do that twice more. Breathing in. Exhale, slow and controlled, scooping the pubic bone up towards the sky, rolling up to a bridge pose, trying to fully extend the hips at the top, and then imagine lengthening out of the thigh bones towards the top of the mat. Really nice. Broad across the collarbones, breathing in. Exhale, slow and controlled, we make our way down. Feeling into every little sensation as you move. Take a breath in at the bottom. Grounding into the feet, exhale, curling the tailbone under, lifting into a bridge pose, keeping engagement of inner thighs. Keeping connection to your breath, inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled, keeping the hips level, rolling down. Really nice, arriving at the bottom, taking a full breath in and a full breath out. Interlacing your hands at the base of the skull. Lifting your left knee to stack above your left hip. Lifting your right knee to stack above your right hip. Keeping your ankles in line. Really nice. Keep the elbows nice and wide. Breathe in. On the exhale, we're going to lift the chest towards the sky, keeping the knees where they are. Inhale to lower down, slow and controlled. Exhale, lifting the chest towards the sky, keeping the knees where they are. Really nice. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lifting the chest to sky, elbows stay wide. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Really nice. Inhale to lower, two more. Exhale to lift. Lovely, inhale to lower, really nice. Exhale to lift, pause here. Rotate the right elbow towards the left knee and extend the right leg as you do so. Inhale, we'll come through center, keeping the shoulder blades off the mat. Exhale, rotate left elbow to right knee, extend left leg. Inhale, center, exhale, change. Inhale, center, exhale, change. Inhale, center, exhale, change. Stay with me. Inhale, center, 
exhale change one more each side inhale center exhale change inhale center exhale change inhale center exhale release back hug the knees into your chest give yourself a nice big hug you can sway left to right massage the lower back into the mat really nice bring your hands to the backs of the hamstrings slowly start to roll up and down the length of the mat we'll come to find a tabletop crossing the knees and the ankles rolling over to an all four point base spread wide through the fingers knees are under your hips inhale for cow lower the belly lift the heart tilt the tailbone up towards the sky exhaling cat pose round the spine spread the skin across the shoulder blades curling your hip points to your armpits tucking your chin to your chest inhale for cow four more exhale for cat slow and controlled indulging in each movement three more inhaling for cow exhaling for cat two more inhaling for cow exhaling for cat one more inhaling cow lifting the chest and the tailbone exhaling for cat round the back lovely we'll meet back in a neutral tabletop keep your hips stacked over your knees start to walk your hands forward for puppy's pose anahatasana bowing your chest your armpits your heart space down towards the mat keeping your lower belly engaged you can place your chin or your forehead down onto the mat three breaths Breathing in, shifting the gaze forward, and on the exhale, slowly roll through the spine, arriving in Sphinx pose, grounding the forearms, spreading wide through the fingers, sliding the forearms back towards the knees, sliding the muscles under the armpits down towards the waistband, and then pulling your chest through the gates of the arms grounding into the tops of the feet lifting the knees off the mat breathing in and breathing out lovely lower the chest down towards the mat take the arms out wide in a capital T shape you're going to squeeze your left heel to your left glutes we're going to roll onto the right hand side of the body for a scorpion twist Bring your left fingertips underneath your left shoulder. Tap your left toes behind you, opening into that left hip, stretching into that right shoulder. Breathing in. And exhale, making your way back through center, taking it over to the other side. If you don't have space, you can cactus the arm, right heel squeezes to right glutes and we roll onto the right hand onto the sorry the left hand side rather tapping the right toes behind us and breathing into left shoulder right hip one more breath in and gently come back through center 
journey back to child's pose knees go wide toes to touch hips sink back down toward the heels melting your chest towards the mat and gently rise up to a tabletop returning to your four point base tucking your toes under lifting your hips up high for downward facing dog taking a couple moments to pedal out the legs when you get there to really check in with sensation notice any tightness in the back line of the legs any stiffness in the shoulders and really welcome in any movement that feels indulgent that keeps you present that helps you stay connected to your body can nod your head yes shake your head no and then settle into stillness when you feel ready spreading wide through the fingers really pushing into the hands as if you were trying to elongate the torso away from the hands and the arms with the extensors between the two sending your tailbone up and back on the diagonal and then really connecting to your breath three more breaths here inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale grounding into the left foot inhale three legged dog right leg rises up and back spin the outer right hip point down lift from the inner right thigh squeeze your right heel to your right glutes open up the right hip stacking the right hip on top of the left squeezing heel to glute trying to tap knee to sky breathe in exhale runners lunge step your right foot outside your right hand lower your back knee down tend your fingertips to so arrive on finger pads curling the pubic bone forward lifting the heart breathe in really nice exhale sliding back half splits flexing the right toes back towards you staying on finger pads inhale we shift forward lifting the chest curling the pubic bone forward breathe in exhale gently gliding back flexing the toes back towards the shin lengthening the chest over the line of the toes one more time inhale shifting forward exhale gliding back really nice pause here three breaths we can stay and hold otherwise just start to windscreen wiper your right foot over towards the right and then back through center and over towards the left moving into some external and internal rotation of the leg and hip really nice inhale coming forward shifting forward tucking your back toes under grounding into that left hand lifting your right arm up towards the sky for an easy twist drive that right hip back rotate the right rib cage up towards the sky spread wide through those right fingers and then externally rotate that left shoulder breathing in here exhale skandhasana to the back of the mat turning those left toes out sitting nice and low into a deep 
Cossack squat, spinning your right toes up towards the sky. You can keep your fingertips grounded if you like. Otherwise, hand, hands can come to your heart center. Staying for the in-breath. Staying for the out-breath. One more time, staying for the in-breath. Staying for the out-breath. Low lunge over that right leg, breathe in. Exhale, pyramid, straighten your right leg, step your back foot in slightly. Draw that right hip crease back and then elongate the torso over the line of the leg. Almost corkscrew that right heel into the mat and then soften your neck, your jaw, the features of your face. Three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in and one more breath out. Gently bend your right knee, breathe in, return to low lunge. Exhale, forward fold, step your left foot to hip width apart. Find a ragdoll cup, opposite elbow with opposite wrist. Allow your head to hang heavy. You can sway left to right. Slow down your breath. We return through center, find a halfway lift as you breathe in. And a forward fold as you breathe out. Two more like that, a halfway lift as you breathe in. And a forward fold as you breathe out. One more time, half lift, breathe in. And a forward fold, breathe out. Bend the knees generously, roll up to standing, stacking one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, take a juicy shoulder loop up, back, and down. Really nice. A moment of pause. In Tadasana, bring your palms to face forward beside you. Close down the eyes, it'll micro bend in the knees. An opportunity to return back to your breath, to land in your body, to arrive on the four corners of your mat. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Really nice. Interlace the hands behind you. Puff the chest as you breathe in. Draw the knuckles down toward the mat. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips. Draw the knuckles overhead. Try to get your belly as close to your thighs as possible. Free up your neck. Hands to shins, half lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank. And pause and hold in your high plank. Imagine sliding your armpits down towards your waistband, curling your pubic bone forward towards your chin, high on the balls of the feet. Breathing in. Exhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes. Chaturanga, you can lower halfway down or all the way down to your belly. Cobra or upward facing dog lifts the chest. We meet back in downward facing dog. You can move through tabletop if you like. Hips up high. Full inhale, full exhale. 
ground into the right foot three-legged dog left leg rises up and back roll the outer left hip point down lift from the inner left thigh squeeze heel to glute and then open up the hip stacking left hip on top of the right try to tap left knees to sky breathe in exhale step the left foot outside the left hand for runner's lunge tenting the hands arriving on the finger pads really nice curling the pubic bone forward lifting the chest up towards the sky breathe in exhale half splits walk your finger pads back towards you as you straighten your left leg flexing left toes to shin we're going to move through that twice more inhale shifting forward slow and conscious exhale gliding back once more inhale shifting forward exhale gliding back really nice we'll pause here for three breaths option to stay or just turning those toes over towards the left of the left leg back through center and over towards the right external and internal rotation of the leg and the hip a thigh bone really nice we'll meet through center breathing in and then on the exhale re-bending into runner's lunge lifting your back knee sweeping the left arm up towards the sky as you draw the left hip crease back rotating the left rib cage up towards the sky make sure you're not collapsing into that right shoulder breathing in spread wide through the fingers exhale skandasana over that right leg towards the back of the mat sitting nice and low spinning those left toes up towards the sky again you can ground your finger pads or bring your hands to heart center deep breath in deep breath out we'll stay for one more inhale one more exhale low lunge over the left leg breathe in pyramid is the exhale breathe out shorten your stance straighten your legs corkscrew that front heel into the mat soften your neck features of your face your jaw three breaths really nice stay for the breath in on the exhale re-bend into your lunge inhale exhale step to forward fold feet are hip width apart find ragdoll cup opposite elbow with opposite wrist and gently sway left to right feel a beautiful stretch into the QLs the muscles on the side of the spine as you twist left to right and gently come back through center generous bend to your knees hands to shins find a halfway lift breathe in a forward fold breathe out twice more halfway lift breathe in and a forward fold breathe out one more time halfway lift breathe in and a forward fold breathe out generous bend through your knees rolling up through the spine stacking vertebra on top of vertebra juicy shoulder loop at the top up back and down tadasana 
We meet in standing, palms face forward beside you. Shoulder blades melt down the spine. A moment to return to your body, to reconnect with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Interlace the hands behind you. Puff the chest as you breathe in. Draw the knuckles down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips. Draw the knuckles overhead. As you do, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Lovely. Breathe in. Release the arms on the breath out and a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms. We step back to high plank, slow and controlled. Pause in your plank, sliding your armpits back towards your waistband, curling your pubic bone towards your chin. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga on or off your knees. High to mid push up or lower all the way to your belly. Cobra or up dog, pull the chest through. Downward facing dog, you can move through tabletop or straight to downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Two more like that, full breath in. Full breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. And gently separate your feet to the width of the mat. Walk your hands back towards your feet. We'll turn the toes out and the heels in and we'll come to sit nice and low into a deep malasana squat. You can use your finger pads on the mat for support or bring your hands to your heart center, drawing the knees apart, lifting the chest. Bring your right fingertips off the diagonal of the right toes and foot. Send your left arm up towards the sky. Find a nice big rotation, a nice juicy opening into the chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Take it over to the other side. Left fingertips off the diagonal of the left foot, right arm to sky. Breathing in. And staying for the breath out. Come back through center, inhale. Exhale, gently turn the toes in and the heels out. You're at a mini preserita in the back of the mat. Find a halfway lift. We'll heel toe the feet to hip width the part forward fold. Bend the knees generously and roll all the way up to standing, stacking one vertebra on top of the other, finding a nice juicy shoulder loop at the top, up, back and down. Full inhale when you get there. Full exhale to stay. Really nice. On the inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky as you breathe in. We're going to take the left wrist with the right hand. You're going to inhale, stretch the arm towards the sky, and then take a side bend over towards the right, otherwise known as Ardha Chandrasana or Half Moon. We'll change arms. Inhale. Left wrist to right arm, elongate that right arm to sky and then exhale, take it over to the left. Lovely, we'll come back through center. Gently grounding onto the right foot, 
We're going to hug the left knee in towards the chest, spread wide through the toes, and then interlace your hands around the shin of the left leg. Hug the knee in. Keep the left hand on the left knee. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Start to open that left knee up towards the side of the room. Slide the hand down to the ankle and then come to find tree pose rikshasana. Bring your hands to your heart center. Wing that left knee away from you. Melt the shoulder blades down the spine. Inhale. And exhale. We have two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. One more breath in. One more breath out. We're going to bring the outer blade of the right foot into the hip crease. So you can bring your right hand to your left foot. And you're going to just start to gesture that left knee down towards the mat. You can stay here. Otherwise, you can bring your left hand to pray. If you're feeling some interesting sensations into that left hip, Sometimes nice to give the left hip a little massage using the left hand. Grounding into that right foot, we'll hug that left knee into the chest one more time. And then exhale, place the foot down. Really nice. Take a moment to move into the legs, shake them out to flip the tops of the feet if you feel a little crampy. We'll ground into the left foot and we'll hug the right knee into the chest. Keeping the right hand where it is, left hand comes to left hip. Open that right knee up towards the side of the room. Sliding the hand down to the ankle. Finding tree pose, sole of the foot to the inner thigh, winging the right knee away from you. Hands to heart. Breathing in. Staying for the breath out. We have three breaths here together. Really nice. Slow and mindful. Lovely, we'll bring the outer blade of the right foot to the left hip crease. You can hold this right foot with the left hand and then draw that right knee down towards the mat. A lot of interesting sensations into the right hip. So give yourself a little bit of love. Otherwise, if you're not feeling as sticky as I am, you can bring your right hand to pray. Really nice, focusing on your breath as you're here. One more breath in. And then on the exhale, we'll draw the right knee into the chest, give it a squeeze. And we'll meet with our right foot down on the mat again. You can pedal out the legs, flips the tops of the feet. And we'll meet into dasana with the palms facing forward, coming to find standing, closing down the eyes. Full inhale. Full exhale, let's drop beneath the skin and arrive in our bodies. Keeping the right foot at the top of the mat, we're gonna step the left leg back turning the uh, outer edge of the foot to parallel to the short edge of the mat. Extend your arms out wide. Send your hips towards the back of the mat. Reach your right hand forward towards the top of the mat and then pendulum the arms to 12 and six, setting up for triangle pose, trikwanasana, spiraling the left rib cage up towards the sky, gazing up to your top hand, or your bottom hand, checking in with what feels most comfortable for your neck. We'll be here for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale and exhale. One more breath in and one more breath out. Bring a little bend to your front knee. We'll just take a reverse triangle to decompress that left side body and then gently step back to the top of the mat. Again, Tadasana, full breath in, full breath out. Keeping that left foot at the top of the mat, we step the right leg back, outer edge of the foot parallel to the short edge of the mat, left leg straightens, arm re arms reach out beside us, bumping the hips towards the back of the mat, feel the stretch into the inner thigh, leaning forward with that left arm towards the top of the mat, and then move the arms to 12 and six. Triangle Trikonasana, you can keep your head neutral, or gaze up towards your top hand, down towards your bottom hand, spiraling the right rib cage to the sky, three breaths, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, really nice, one more breath in, one more breath out, lovely, bring a little bend to your front knee, inhale, reverse, decompress that right side body, and then exhale, mindfully step to the top of the mat for Tadasana. Full breath in, full breath out. Interlace the hands behind you, puff the chest, draw the knuckles down toward the mat. Exhale, forward fold over the line of the legs. Find a halfway lift as you breathe in. Plant the palms, mindfully step back to high plank. Pause and hold in your plank. Chaturanga of your choice. Cobra or up dog, lift the chest. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Hips up high, full breath in. Full breath out. Right leg rises, three legged dog, breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hips, squeeze the heel to the glutes. And this time, if you like, you can take a wild thing. As you tap the toes behind you, lift the heart, open the throat, breathe in. Dip the hips, gaze forward, set up for half pigeon. Bring the shin toward the top of the mat. As parallel as feels comfortable for you. Again, tent the hands, the finger pads for support. Grow tall through the spine, breathe in. Exhale gently, come down to your forearms. You can stay on the palms of the hands. You can also fully extend if you feel comfortable or ready to do so. We have five full breaths here. Returning to a slightly longer, deeper breath. Riding the full length of the inhale. The full length of the exhale. Lovely, one more breath in. One more breath out. And gently walk your hands back towards your leg. We'll roll to the outer right glute. And sweep your left leg around, crossing the left foot over the right knee. 
find connection of both sitting bones to the earth. Bring your hands to your shoulders, breathe in. And then on the exhale, we're gonna twist over towards the left. We'll now hook the right tricep over the left knee. Place your left fingertips behind you. Open the palm and then rotate the chest over towards the left. Three more breaths, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. One more breath, inhale, exhale, twist. We'll take a little counter twist over towards the right. And then sweeping that left leg back, placing your hands down, sliding the right leg back to downward facing dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Left leg rises, three-legged dog, breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hip. Tap the toes behind you for a wild thing. If you would like to lift your hips, lift your heart, open your throat. Dip the hips slightly, journey all the way to half pigeon, sitting up at the top of the mat, tensing the finger pads, sliding your back knee slightly further away from you. Breathing in. Exhale, coming down to your forearms or staying on your hands. Five breaths. You can work your way up to lowering down with each out breath. Softening your neck and your jaw. Full inhale. Full exhale. Slow and controlled. Slow and conscious. Indulging in each moment. One more breath in. One more breath out. And gently walk your hands back towards you. We roll onto the outer left hip this time, sweeping the right leg around the left knee, placing the foot down onto the mat, bringing our hands to our shoulders, rotating over towards the right, and then hooking the left tricep over the right thigh, bringing right fingertips down behind you, rotating the chest over towards the right, breathing in, exhale, twisting. Two more like that, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale for length. Exhale to twist. Taking a gentle counter twist over towards the right, left rather. Sweeping your right leg back behind you. Stepping back for downward facing dog. Full inhale. Full exhale. Two more, full inhale, full exhale, one more breath like that, inhale deeply, exhale, 
lion's breath, stick your tongue out, let it go. Bend the knees, gaze forward to a seat. Step up or jump. Extend your legs out in front of you. Bring your hands on either side of your hips. Flexing your toes back towards you. Lift your chest, breathe in. Stay for the breath out. Sliding your hands back behind you. You can either move into the full version of the pose, which is pushing your hands into the mat, tilting your toes down towards the earth and lifting your hips. Otherwise, find the modification of sliding your feet uh, closer towards you with the knees bent and lifting up to reverse tabletop. You can choose reverse table or reverse plank. Release your head back if it feels comfortable. Two more breaths. Slowly return to seated. Inhale, reach the arms to sky. Exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward fold over the line of the legs. You can pedal out the legs, bending and straightening one at a time. You can passively fold by spinning the palms of the hands up softening the features of the face and really rounding over the legs. We have five breaths, finishing class with the shape of introspection, a shape of bowing in, of returning. Savoring the last few moments of class staying connected to our internal experience, basking in this slow conscious space. And find a full inhale. On the inhale, find a little bit of length through the spine. And then on the exhale, fully round over, sigh the breath out. And then we're going to roll all the way down to Shavasana. Setting up in the most comfortable position you can be in. Taking the legs nice and wide letting the toes turn out, sliding the shoulder blades underneath you, palms face up beside you, really allowing the limbs to be supported by the earth, the ground beneath you. Exhale all the air out of the lungs, empty release. Full inhale, full exhale. Completely let go of your breath. Completely soften and relax the limbs. Completely soften and relax the features of the face. The jaw. The belly. Allowing the entire body to fall heavier and heavier with each out breath. Mm -hmm. 
using the exhales as a means of letting go of dropping a little deeper beneath the skin. I will guide you out of Shavasana. So give yourself full permission to let go. to explore all the space you've created within. ever so gently, starting to bring a little bit of movement to your fingertips and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. Squeezing the legs toward one another, stretching the arms back behind you, bending your knees, placing the soles of the feet to the mat, and rolling onto your right hand side using your bicep as a cushion underneath you. Just in this moment, observe how you are feeling. Rising with this awareness, pushing yourself back up to a seated position. Closing down the eyes if they're not already. Finding a full breath in. And a full breath out. And gently drawing your hands to your heart center in Anjali Mudra or prayer. Thank you so much for joining me in this slow conscious practice. I look forward to sharing this space with you soon. Gratitude from me to you.